All right, everyone, it's a new year. Carol Worldwide is same old thing. How was your new year, everybody? Fantastic. How were your, your New Year's, guys? I noticed you didn't show up at my party. Pretty good. You had a party? I, I invited both of you to the party. Don't even oh. act like you didn't get the invitation. We, we, we got we, lost in the mail. It was on, on digital form. So it was. It away. was. <clears throat> and, uh, and my party was especially awesome because my house was so clean. Was it a cleaning party? Do tell. Yes. Yeah. I, I got... Uh, sure. I, how did your house get so clean? I got my friend Jason to clean it for me. Stem to stern. It was amazing. He owns this company called Mermaids. And uh, they're fairly recently established within the past two years. Great, great company. Uh, they actually have so many policies that I think are so cool. Jason actually hand washes the floors. He doesn't do it with a mop. He gets down there and gets the nooks and crannies. He's fantastic. And the other thing I really love about mermaids is that they're pet friendly. So I know when I'm not there, my dog is actually being let in and let out and taken care of. And so they have slight pet sitter services too. Yes. It's amazing. So you can leave your furry friends out while they clean your house. And they're so kind to them. And Are the mermaids mermen? They are mermen. <laughs> Deadly sexy mermen. Which is just, you know, an added benefit of it Very all. good. Mm -hmm. And they are our sponsor. Yes, this week. they are. Thank you very much. Thanks, mermaids. Awesome. Um, it's always good to see uh, people we can vouch for. Am I not close enough to the mic? Randy? You need to be closer to the bottom of the mic. <laughs> L lift, lift the arm up. There you go. How's that? That's good. Yeah, work it. I'm just... yeah, turn it. Yep, that's better. <laughs> oh my god! Should I flip it and reverse it? <laughs> you told me the tip is the most sensitive part. So <laughs> that, that was in private. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the, but speaking of all this, Randy, you had something to say about being DTF. Okay, well, this is a. <laughs> that was a very cold opening. Well, I mean, we're talking about the tip. It was a, a post that reminded me that things in. In Carroll County are just named very, very badly. Businesses, apps, what what have you. What's the worst name business you can think of? There, well, I have a few. I'd like to share them with you. Okay. I was in Sykesville a couple weeks ago, and I'm on the corner on Sykesville Main Street, there's a place called Headmasters. <laughs> I saw that. I storm in. I'm screaming, take my money, take my money. They're saying, oh, no, this is a... This is a barber shop. You have to leave. And I said, why don't you call yourselves fucking hair masters or something? And, and then I complained to the Better Business Bureau. And they were all, sir, you can't walk in here with no pants. Whatever. <laughs> well, you got you thought you were going to headmasters, so the pants were off. Yeah. So I just went right to the BBB. Now, right across, you guys probably both know this, right across from Westminster High School on 32, there's an establishment called The Country Stripper. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually some kind of furniture refinishing thing. Mm-hmm. Big Not at all what you think. And while we're at it, the most boring place to host a bachelor party, in case you're planning one. So I'm always running into BJs. My wife is always running into dicks. We're just coming out disappointed. <laughs> the places around here are named badly. Now, on Westminster Online Community, this woman was talking about an app called Carroll County DTF. Well, I immediately downloaded it. I'm trying to add friends. I'm uploading selfies. I'm taking duck faces, all that stuff. But you're, you're very restrained to only upload selfies on an app called oh, DTF. What? Yeah, really. I mean, I'm not going to, here's my dog or whatever, unless people are weird or into that. And that's fine, too. But it turns out DTF stands for Drug Task Force. It's very misleading. Yeah. So I typed in, you know, where the weed at because I want some. And next thing you know, 15 minutes later, some cops are barging down my door, throwing me up against the wall. So I'm not sure what this app is. I think it's to report drug activity, not to request drug activity. So that's what drug task force oh. means. Oh, it's a misunderstanding. Isn't the, isn't the uh, logo like a badass ganja smoking skeleton? Yeah, that, it's Skeletor. It's, uh, it made me DTF when I saw it, to be perfectly honest. Can you clarify with you? DTF? Because in Carroll County, that can mean several different things. Drug task force. Okay. It made me drug task force. <laughs> I didn't know that was a verb. Because it is. It's, it's Skeletor. Uh -huh. With a big, big pot leaf and a gun. And I was like, I'm there. I'm in. I want to be a part of Carroll County DTF. Mm -hmm. I, I, backing up for I a second. I did too. But backing up, having like some kind of like electronic means of like, hmm, there's this drug thing going on. 
not a horrible idea, but it's like seems like it's been branded for thirteen year old edge lords to think it's like awesome. What's an edge lord? Yeah, what is an edge lord? An edge lord is someone on the internet who like uh, tries to be cool by like being inappropriate by like saying like slurs or like oh, so like a troll. Yeah, it's like it's like a troll uh, trying to be edgy. Yeah, it, it's like a troll, but with so like. So is a... Randy an edge? I was just thinking that. <laughs> I think I might be. No, he's way too basic to be an edge. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Way too basic. Okay. But, but so like a skeleton with a AK forty seven smoking pot that's DTF. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I'm there. <laughs> I think it's. I think that's. I think that messaging needs a little tweak. Maybe if they had consulted with one of uh, Carroll County's excellent web people mm -hmm. uh i don't know if anyone in this room or me <laughs> they could have consulted me because i actually did come up with a new list of of, of things that they can change it to Do, are you guys interested in hearing my always my top 10 list yep okay so um i found uh several replacement acronyms on the internet and renamed them so they could be appropriate for instead of Carroll County DTF. So here's the top 10 list. Okay. Um, the first one, number 10, is um, VGL, which means very good looking. Mm -hmm. But I suggest they change it to Vigilante Ganja League. <laughs> so there's that okay. one. Okay, gotcha. We, are, we, are we the vigilantes that are like for ganja or against it? I mean, you can interpret it any way you want to, DTF. So it's like Batman Rastafarian? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I like that. Um, the next one I found was HNG, a horny net geek. <laughs> so a person, yes, basically. Yes, a horny net geek. So now they're going to be the heroin narc gang. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Num I, I, number two for two. <laughs> I, I don't know these acronyms. Neither do I. Okay, so you guys are getting an education. I actually consulted my um, my teenage children on these acronyms, so I would be Are they pickup cool. artists? I mean, how do they know these Well, I, yeah, I mean, my boys got game. All right. Are they... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Don't they, just... Are they DTF? Are they drug task force? I'm sure they are. Did you just ask if her kids were DTF? <laughs> In the Carroll County they context? Were, they are part of the drug task force, yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, number eight, CD. That stands for cross-dresser. Um, so now they can be the Carroll drug lords, I okay. thought. That's a pretty um, good Straight one. Straightforward. Um, and then number seven is C-A-R, catch and release. You guys familiar with this term? Yes, that one I know. Hit it and quit it? Yep. Okay. So now they're going to be, instead of catch and release, it's going to be crackheads and raspberries. Do you guys know what raspberries are? It's that little computer that you can turn into anything, a raspberry pie. It's like when you uh, blow on a kid's stomach. Go, boo, boo, boo. No, you're both wrong. <laughs> Actually, a raspberry is a, a lady or a gentleman, I guess it can be. But I think more commonly it's a lady who will, in uh, exchange for crack cocaine or some kind of drug, perform sexual uh, favors. Man, this so is a real education. Raspberry. No idea. Okay, well, see, I had to look a lot of this stuff up. I'm not just like smart about this kind of stuff either you're so. not drug task force i did one for randy do you guys want to hear number six yeah asl age sex location uh <laughs> so the new one is adderall spotted locally oh i like it six is my lucky number by the way no, i'm not joking it oh, really funny. is 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 that your birthday is yes you, is your birthday it's on, on the it's sixth? on the sixth yes oh that's so funny of also the sign of the beast wait a minute let me guess you're a taurus aren't you damn Yes. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew <laughs> it. Okay. Um, so number five is MBA, married but available. And, you know, I'm not really sure what that entails. But um, mm. now they're going to be the Molly and Bud Avengers. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Um, when you say Avengers. Avengers, like did, the Avengers, like Marvel Universe. Like. Did you write for the MBA, Dennis? <laughs> did you write a plot line for the MBA? Molly the, and no. Bud Avengers. In the Dungeons and Dragons universe? <laughs> Okay, so um, number four, uh, VBD is a very bad date. So now it's going to be Vicious Badass Druggies. That's okay. the new app name. So is that for drug users? Um, <laughs> you know, I... Is this is a government organization. I was a, I was a little high when I wrote this list, so sorry. Whoa, maybe you need to be an ETF. <laughs> okay, so number three is BDSM, which stands for oh. Bondage, Discipline, and Sadomasochism. But now it's going to be Booze, Drugs, and Sex Militia. Sex Militia yeah. sounds amazing. The, the Booze, Drug, and Sex Militia. That, the, uh, That's the new app. The mascot doesn't have to change. 
Not yeah. really, no. Yeah. That's that's what that, Skeletor. Yeah, Skeletor, Skeletor right? can. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that sounds like a militia drug guy. Okay, <laughs> number two, um, RTS real time sex is now going to be RTS. What, what other type is there? Is yeah, there? is it delayed sex? I don't know. Maybe like people are texting each other during sex. I don't know what it means. Okay. I'm a very real time nice... sex or real time sexting. Real time sex, just sex. Okay. All right. Okay, so real time sex. This is educational. Isn't it? So really? RTS is now going to stand for the Roland Tweaker Squad. What's Roland? Roland. Like you're Roland on oh, Molly. Oh, Roland, like Rolling. Roland. Gotcha. God, I'm white. You are so white. <laughs> Who's Roland? <laughs> okay, you guys ready for number one? Number one. The number one new app is going to be called BBC, and instead of Big Black Co- Oh my god. It's gonna stand for <laughs> blunt blow and crack. That's good. That's good. So I the thing that the thing that's so funny is that the DTF thing, it's like too perfect. Like you couldn't have even made a joke that funny. Like the fact that they right. called it DTF. It, like did they know that? Did they not know like whether they knew it or didn't know it, it's funny either way. No, it's there's there's no direction this breaks that isn't hilarious. Yep. They didn't know. They couldn't have known. They, I mean, or someone in the meeting did know, but like the boulder was rolling down the hill. They didn't want to say anything. And they were like, I'm not going to be the guy. <laughs> uh, Merle, you might want to look. No, never mind. No, no, I'm not going to be that guy. Jimmy, shut up. I'm not going to be that guy. Well, this is like an amazing. Do you wonder who developed the app? Do you think that, like, the developer anywhere is starting away? was like, hmm. Most of them are in India, so they might not know of our sexual nomenclature. Well, that's why you got to develop local. That's right. That is why. Assuming they didn't. They may have, and there might be some embarrassed person listening to this that is DTF <laughs> responsible. <laughs> All right. DTF so, or some RTS. <laughs> we've got to clean something up because everyone's been waited. In- you should call mermaids if you want to clean something up. Mm. This is podcast. I don't know if they can digitally clean up, <laughs> but they're going to enter the new frontier soon enough, I'm sure. So everyone is waiting with bated breath. For the golden tractor crank hearing regarding Sherry versus Randy on who's got the most Carroll County story. But I got a motion to postpone from both parties. Do you care to explain why we're not going to want to hear this today? Council? Because there was someone someone who has a really good, who's a really good candidate last week that I just don't want to compete with because it's topical, it's current, and it's phenomenal. We can't let it slip through. Yeah, Anything my else? story is from eons ago. So. Same as mine. All right, so we just ne- have to wait. So next week, we're maybe do- Oof. we'll the, see. The judge might not let you postpone forever. <laughs> okay, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Wait, the judge is in charge of the golden triangle. No, yeah, the, what? This isn't that segment. No, you guys want to debate in front of the judge. Well, I could just say, oh, 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 oh you're gonna be like that? Yeah, well, we did I, say the that. Judge. We oh. were we were going to combine them, but he's sort of being the judge now. Uh-huh. I'm saying that I'm, grant, is, I'm granting I'm granting your motion to postpone. Very judgy. Yeah, I'm granting your moment to your motion to postpone. Okay, thank you. Thank All you, right. Your Honor. You're welcome. All right, let's move on through the docket. <laughs> <laughs> the real Golden Tractor Crank Award, Randy. You're very fired up about this. Your cr- tractor crank is whirling. <laughs> well, it's, it seemed like put it away. It seemed like an old man stole a car. And he got caught, and he admitted that he stole the car to drive it to Walmart in order to steal fireplaces from Walmart. There you go. There's our Golden Tractor Crank Award. And he was caught in the Boston Inn, I believe, was the piece de resistance. Oh, and, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's where he was. Where yeah. was he you going to be. drive the car? To Walmart. Where? Which Walmart? I'm guessing Westminster. I believe it was Westminster. Oh, man. So we've got... Eldersburg isn't putting up with that crap. We've got the trifecta. Walmart, Boston Inn, stolen fireplaces... Stolen cars. What's he going to do with the stolen fireplaces? Like, I remember when I was younger, somebody would pull up in a white van trying to sell me water cooled speakers. And they would, remember that guy? And he would pull out the. You ever seen that guy? Uh, I, maybe in my nightmares. Really? What the hell are you Everybody talking has about? a story like that. I bet people listening have seen this guy. They would show up in a white van, try to sell you some speakers. They would even show you the receipt that they weren't stolen, and they were stolen. But is that what this guy is going to do? Hey, kid, want to buy a fireplace? Does this, this Walmart wow. sell fireplaces? Did you ever buy any of those speakers, Randy? I no. want to hear more about this. No, I was very intrigued. I've never seen a fireplace at Walmart. I just got in their van and went back to their place with them for a while. And oh, okay. They wanted to play cornhole with me. but 
That's supposed to involve a beanbag and some wooden targets, right? I knew it. I knew it. Yes, it is. <laughs> you were wrong. Yeah, well, as long as you win, right? I'm it's not sure if I won or not. I was DTF. I know that. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, uh, my God. I think that he, you, you know, you were right that we really do have to call that out for the golden tractor crank. That is. That's a good one. The, yeah. the best, so let me back it up. The best thing about that story is. Why did the guy fill in the detail that he was going to steal the car to steal more stuff? I guess he just gave up on life. He, he just decided just... to be honest. I mean, I don't necessarily think that's going to get him more time, but it's like you can steal a car for any number of reasons. It doesn't necessarily need to be stolen to commit more crimes. This is true, yes. But, I mean, hey, honesty, right? <laughs> That's an honest. That's an honest man, right? There. It's hardly ever heard. I just, yeah, I don't see the big picture. I don't see the end game here. What? What's with the fireplaces? Was he... I don't think they sell fireplaces cool. at Walmart. They do. They're they're, they're little the electric ones. Electric, oh, you know, okay. like he, they're more like heaters. Gotcha. Like they call them fireplaces because they have those. What you think he was going to steal like inserts for wood well, stoves or something? Yeah, I was like, that seems more like a Lowe's or Home Depot kind of project. Hey, he's not smart. We already know that. Well, we know he's honest, Randy. Let's not assume his intelligence. I'm that's saying he's not smart. <laughs> They're synonymous, in my opinion. All right. I hadn't seen this in Westminster Online, but I want to engage in some baseless speculation. I was driving by. Is this an announcement? No, I'm not pregnant. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We wanted a new addition to the family. Not going to be a junior situation. Okay. Uh, so I was driving by the old Papa Joe's location, which is in the same shopping center as the new Papa Joe's location, mm-hmm. and they have new signage. I couldn't read it. What do we think's moving in there? A Wawa. A Wawa? I don't think. A BB&T. That. that was a bank at one point. It was Westminster Union Bank. They for had a long the bank, time. the bank thing there. The drive through. Yeah, maybe the Sonic should just move straight there. The Sonic is too big for that, isn't it? Well, it's got the drive through over. KFC? There. That'd be funny. Maybe the KFC from is it Sykesville that closed? Which, which, yeah. Which KFC closed? Right Eldersburg. Now? Eldersburg KFC, and there is much gnashing of the teeth. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to put it. Yes. Yeah. The the people are sad the colonel is undeployed his chicken armies. Did Popeyes displace them? That's a whole other episode. I don't know. I just never never in my wildest dreams do I ever think to myself, I really need some fast food chicken. Uh, ever, yeah. Never. No. But more power if you love it, but hey, you're screwed, it's gone. My colon is getting too arrogant. I really need to mess it up a little bit and have some heartburn. You need to uh, put it in its place. Yeah. Well, don't go back in that van and play cornhole. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) Okay. Well, I think uh, one thing I need to add to this conversation is that if another restaurant does move into that location, I think that parking lot is going to be prime for being as hateful as the one directly across the street. It's, which which because park? that parking lot is awful now, but I think add one more restaurant right in that same corner where Forbidden City and Papa Joe's are now. That's every, you're fucked. I mean, where, where's everybody gonna park? I don't know. I mean, I think it's probably it's gonna a, be a bad. It's, it's, it's it, gonna be a bad situation. It's a restaurant pad already, so I assume it's a restaurant moving in. I don't think necessarily it has to be because, like but you said, just, it was before. This is, this a is bank. baseless speculation. It's small though, so it's it is not small. a lot of cars are going to be there for that restaurant. Well, the old Papa Joe's location. It's not if they have both because, like, the reason Papa Joe's moved is it had two different. It was it was renting two different um, two spaces. Spaces. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it depend. Both those spaces combined are fairly sizable, I think. But I don't know. It's baseless speculation. That's why it's so good. Yep. It's so the best kind of speculation. Um, speaking of food, we had sp- lunch sponsored again. It was yes. amazing. Again by Brooke at the Food Chick. Yep. To Washington Road. Washington Road, Road yes. yes. Right yeah. across from uh, Carol Fuel, formerly Sheets. All right. Well, they're not a sponsor, but but Food Chick is. Yes. And today, Brooke <laughs> made us um, homemade chicken sliders with her original barbecue sauce that she makes with her own two hands. And uh, her own homemade nacho chips, chips that yes. she makes. She makes the chips. So, as a as a compliment to all the listeners out there, um, you can actually go into the food chick after you hear this and mention that you heard about the food chick on Carol Worldwide, and you will get a free serving of chips and hummus or chips and salsa. Really? Wow. Yes. Damn. Yes. We could double dip. We could go there right now and say, I heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I heard you when we were talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, I need some more chips. Yeah. So thank you, Brooke. Lunch was delicious. Excellent yeah, as always. Excellent as always. Um, and man, this is a really food-centric podcast. Uh, Randy, you had something you want to talk about. 
at IHOP. At IHOP. Oh yes, yes. We'll we'll you talk see- about that. There's something on my mind though. There's this is not on our list of things to talk about, but there was this this woman who posted on Westminster Online Community. Nice lady, but she said she wanted a place to get hibachi, Japanese food, but without the show because the show is just too much. She can't handle the show. It's it's just over and over again. So she just wants food. Right. So she she wants to. And I said, so you want to go somewhere and say, I want some fried rice, but please don't twirl the implements. Like that's going to be the problem. You can go virtually any place for that, right? You can go to like well, any not, Asian restaurants and get the hibachi. Well, you can get, like, they have hibachi steak and stuff, don't they? I think so. But the, the show is part of the fun. It's part of the experience. Can I tell you something? I've never done hibachi grill. Never? Mm-mm. Oh, it's so much fun. I Are mean, you I, DTH? I, <laughs> down to <laughs> hibachi? Maybe. Mm. I'm not against it. I just never have done it. I mean, I've had, like, a Korean, where they, the Korean restaurants where they fry, like, you have your own hot plate in front of you and stuff. I'm not, like, against it. The interactive food experience. I've never mm. done fondue at like melting pot or anything either. That's fun, but they're not a sponsor. No. <laughs> Since when we have sponsorship? No. Neither is IHOP, but we can talk about that. Well, you you wanted to talk about it. I think this is going to be an episode of <laughs> Judge Dennis. <laughs> I didn't know I'm getting back on the bench. Let me put back my robe. Put on. your put your robe back. Please on. put your robes back on. So it seems that. A guy was going into high, IHOP and he saw a sign that Did said... Did you call it IHOP? <laughs> Did I call it IHOP? He totally just made that slip. IHOP. And there's a sign on the door that says they have the right to not serve you if you smell of marijuana smoke. And he said, that's discrimination. I'm saying it's not discrimination. It's absolutely discrimination. Let's hear your case, Sherry. Okay. Did I present it objectively? Um... I didn't read the post, as I never do, because I don't want to bias myself, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. If it pleases the court. Oh, <laughs> wow. She's done some research. Um, that sign was originally posted in Missouri. It was never posted locally. Oh, wait. So this is, you're saying that the whole thing was fabricated? It's not even up here? It's not even in Westminster. So someone sh- so someone shared this as a tall tale. Well, this so is a mistrial. This, uh, can, excuse me, Your Honor. Do I have your you, attention? You have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Council. Um, so a spokesperson for um, IHOP actually is quoted as saying in response to this one sign in Missouri that the sign is a year old and that discriminating against pot smokers was not a company policy. So IHOP actually has already admitted that it is discrimination. Oh, she thinks she has me. And the sign was taken down look how confident she looks that smile okay i got an ace in the hole i'm sorry okay the cornhole in the, i got an ace in the cornhole sorry okay. that sounds whoa really weird go on discrimination can only be based on age sex or religion it can't be based on something that an action that you've chosen i disagree with you discrimination is also <laughs> defined as something that um disproportionately impacts a group of people i.e is this really a group of people there are legitimately people who have need of medical marijuana and uh, those people are being discriminated against if that indeed was a policy what are they called which has been people who what's the name of the group not people who what's the the what the blank The potheads. (laughs) The potheads don't necessarily have a need. And fine, yes, somebody coming off of chemo, I don't think they're going to want to go to IHOP in the first place anyway. (laughs) But somebody who... Now, what about people who smell of alcohol? It's the same thing. There wasn't a sign that said that if you smelled of alcohol, you couldn't come in. And honestly, (laughs) drunks are more disruptive than potheads. That is true. And why would you as a restaurant want to turn away a pothead? They forget to pay because they forget stuff. Ooh. Let yeah. me let me ask something though. Wasn't this post framed as something happening at the local? IHOP? Yes. So you're saying this? Do you have proof that this never happened at the Westminster IHOP? I have proof on the internet. If you want to oh. back it up with that, but <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I I'm when just... I researched this, it was one sign in one state, and Missouri is a uh, notoriously hard line against marijuana kind they're, of state. They're against a lot of things that are discrimination. Um, were excuse me. <laughs> 
So is your argument with me just that you don't think this is discrimination because it doesn't fall under age, sex, religion, and things like Color, that? Color, yes, exactly. So discrimi- the, the definition of discrimination is much broader than that, I think, is, is the uh, point that I'm making. M- bro- womener than that. You're using a very derogative feminist oh, term. Jesus oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Trying to sidetrack her. Okay. <laughs> the, yeah. The mm-hmm. old bait and switch. So <laughs> one of the things that I think is super interesting here is that uh, I don't think I have standing to rule in this case, guys, because this is not a Carroll County case. It was brought under false pretenses because the post that I lied, I actually like saw like the link Randy sent. Yeah. The post pretended that this happened to this guy in this IHOP. I moved for a mistrial. Well, I don't know if either of you win in a mistrial, but uh, I guess I'm going to grant it. It's a tie <laughs> because this didn't actually happen here. Yeah. But shame on the person pretending that they were discriminated against in IHOP, Carroll County, because it wasn't even true. Whose who's argument was stronger, Judge? Oh, well, I don't know. There, there, there's, a, there's a concept of law called... Quit making <laughs> eyes at Randy and look at me. I always have eyes for Randy, mm-hmm. though. Uh, you know, I think the thing that's funny is that they could throw someone out for smelling like pot, but they because you can re- refuse service to anybody, but you just can't do it for a discriminatory reason. So, like, they probably would be better off not putting out a sign, and it, if they had one person who just came in reeking and offending people, just throwing them out constantly. Like, you don't, like, just like the the cow poop guy from a couple of weeks ago. Remember, he, like, right. had all the cow poop on him and they, like, threw him out. But I would argue that that's a legitimate health concern. You can't go into a restaurant with feces. Well, yeah, there's that, too. But, like, let's, let's say you were to own a restaurant and someone were to smell strongly of a legal substance that made it unappetizing for other people to be there. Couldn't you throw them out? I mean, I... I that's within my right to do yeah. so would I probably not I would probably say to the other person who is having a problem with it you know here's another seat yeah. or and and I mean since it's in Missouri I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt but th- you can't I mean I imagine there are people that do show up to these to establishments that are like off-putting to other customers because of choices they've made well first of all I don't know how much experience you gentlemen have with marijuana smoking <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a smell that lingers. No, it's not. It, so, you know, you walk in, you reek a little bit, and then five minutes later, you are you got a guy eating pancakes, and he smells like maple syrup. A lot of pancakes. A lot of pancakes. Good customer. <laughs> Unless it's all you can eat, then it's a bad customer. Right. Well, I will say, what is your decision? Who do you think had the better argument, honestly? I declared a mistrial. But which which one of us had the better argument? In Missouri, would that be considered, would you consider it discrimination? Oh, oh my gosh. We're talking about Missouri? This is Carol Worldwide. <laughs> uh, man. So, I think you can probably throw someone out for the smoke, but because it's, the dif- the key difference is, is that marijuana is legal in Maryland and not in Missouri. That's why I think you can I see. I think, I, you, see. I think you can't ban someone here for something that's legal. Gotcha. Well, see, that's like, the, of... like saying that, like, if you put up a sign, it's like, if you drank alcohol, you can't come into my premises. That might also be similarly problematic. But in Missouri, it's illegal. And this is all based on internet stuff. So shame on the person who pretended that they were Carroll County problem. No, no yeah. one here, but. Fuck that guy. Yeah, you know who you are, random troublemaker. Random troublemaker. That guy makes trouble on Yeah, he's, every... he's a repeat offender. He is. I, yeah, he should be banned. I don't know. But here's the thing. There's like a class of people that are troublemakers, and they all blend into like one amalgam of like a piece of shit in my mind. Like I can't tell the difference between the various trolls. Yeah. I was thinking about rattling them off and having you bleep it, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to. He's but, the it's same, a good idea. He's the same guy that trolled the mayor. Yeah, the, 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 and, and the mayor, he... I think he, and, yeah. he admitted he was wrong, but he would not admit it to the mayor. Right. And then he uh, he he like laughed at his own post and then turned off comments. I think he called it's ridiculous. Mayor, I think he called the mayor a bad name too. He did. He did. But he was completely out of line. The guy, not the mayor. There's the mayor. Hashtag. <laughs> Where's the mayor? No, this one is, is there's he, the mayor. Is he is he at high hop? <laughs> He could be because there's no sign. Speaking of signs, the, the, the sign thing is funny because I was at a bar of, like five years ago in uh, Finksburg. I'm not going to say the name, but it's a big, well-known bar. And they have a sign in the bathroom that says, please do not shit in the sink. And the reason oh that, that I find that funny. 
What if you're? What if Why you're do they need a sign that says that? They needed a sign. Now, if it happened once, they would just like you said, like with the the cow manure, they would just tell the person to leave. This must have been a repeat problem that they needed to print That's and a type. Serious problem. It's like a sign. Have you seen Uncle Buck, the classic John Candy movie? No. Yes. He poops in a urinal in that movie. Yes, he does. A few effort flushes that can be taken care of, but the sink is a much bigger. <laughs> situation that's a health hazard mm-hmm. there's some problems with that so yeah. i mean this is so this is all let me just pull, point this out this is all a long game for randy to bring up an anecdote about his experience at a restaurant i've got more it is a long game for that yes but i have several and we're gonna i'm okay. gonna sprinkle them out over this episode over the next 117 episodes all right so set your calendar it's january 117 so we're looking into march of 2020 when randy finally finishes his restaurant anecdotes i've collected all the infinity stones and, <laughs> his wife and kids are going to be so happy when he's done with these stories right <laughs> they've already heard them like seven times so is that it for everybody that's it yeah that's we want to thank our sponsor again yeah absolutely want to want to thank you know and and they actually don't just do residential. They do commercial as well. So they clean my business. Um, Whoa. They do a fantastic job. So we'll you put really... a link to their their Facebook page. So you can absolutely vouch for them. I can absolutely vouch for them. They clean my home. They clean my business. And um, if you mention this ad, when you go to mermaidsllc.com, they will give you 20% off your first cleaning. Wow. So Just mention that you heard them on the podcast. Just mention you heard them on Carol Worldwide. For, nice. for, for each of these offers, is there like a sunset on them? Well, I mean, I'm sure that if somebody listens to this episode in January of 2020, that will not apply anymore. They'll be so into my story about the sign about saying, not, don't wash your panties in the toilet, that they'll forget all about it. <laughs> Randy's just got a lot of good signage experience. He's just, <laughs> yes. he, good thing you have a wood sign now. Indeed we do. And that was on uh, last week. That was our cover picture. Yeah, it was. All right. I think, I think that's enough. It's uh, more than 30 minutes. So I'm Dennis Twig. I'm Randy Goldstein. I'm Sherry Hospel Joseph. See ya.